Hi. So I'm Pramod Deshpande, as you said, and as you introduced, I'm a coach, and being a coach, I'm accustomed to start all my sessions with a warm up. Yeah. So all of you guys are ready for a warm up. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. But this warm up will not be a physical warm up, but a mental warm up. I'm going to show you some pictures, and you have to five five seconds to identify those person. Yeah. So everyone ready? Shall I start? Okay. Who's this person? Oops, sorry. I got my distant cousin's photo here. So let's start again. Yeah. Who's this person? Saina Nehwal, right? Who's this person? Bajaram Punia. Who's this person? Mira Bai Chanu. And I'm pretty sure the next person everyone knows, right? And here you go. Yeah. And the next person, absolutely right, right? The god of long distance running, Eliud Kipchoge. And uh, just observe the expression of exuberance and disbelief on his face, and we are going to talk about that in a bit. So these five people, what do they have common in them? Right, of course, first, they have medals in world's topmost, two topmost events, that's world championship, and Olympics, right? Apart from that, they of course have this amazing abilities in their sport, and they have fantastic physique, right? And naturally, they have lots of medals, and they have trophies, and everything, right? So they are the real deal. They are the athletes, right? That's the common thing. So a quick show of hand, who amongst this are athletes. Yeah, one. Okay, so very few, right? So that means majority of us are hesitating to call ourselves athletes. But I think every one of us can and should be an athlete. And why I'm saying this? Because I have the privilege to witness thousands of amazing, unbelievable transformations and achievements. That's when an individual starts considering himself, herself as an athlete, the transformation happens. And how does that happen? So let's start understanding first what an athlete is, right? So let's start with some definitions. So the Cambridge Dictionary says, an athlete is a person who is being trained and has abilities in sport which he participates against others in organized events. Webster, Miriam, Miriam Webster Dictionary says, an athlete is a person who is trained in games, sports, and exercises that require physical fitness, stamina, and agility. Right? So there is a bit of a variation. And when we say that, you know, this is an athlete, so what we are actually picturing is somebody very young, somebody very fit, and of course has a lot of medals and trophies, everything. But does this really define an athlete? Right? So let's try to deconstruct this. So first we said you know, participation in some event. Right? Actually, that doesn't define an athlete. And why I'm saying this, if we can see there is this gentleman who has been on a ride from North Pole to South Pole, 51,000 kilometers in 99 days. Yeah? Or this young girl, yeah? she has completed, covered the entire golden quadrilateral, 6,000 kilometers by running. Now, both of them have not participated in any event, but still, they are exceptional athletes, right? So, participation, so then the age. If you remember, I said, watch that expression on Eliud Kipchoge's face. That's because at the age of 37, he has broken his own world record. 
yeah, at the age of 37. And if you look at this next gentleman, yeah, so those who have participated in marathon or know something about marathon knows that it's very difficult to complete a marathon in less than four hours. Yeah, but this gentleman, Ed Whitlock from Canada, has just achieved that, not just some years back, but has achieved that in three hours, 56 minutes at the age of 85. Yeah, so that's age. Uh, very recently concluded Mumbai Marathon, we had 230 runners who completed that grueling event of 42 kilometers. They were over 60 age, age of 60, All right? Now the third one which is remaining, of course, is performance. So do performance define athletes? But if we all know all the gods of, uh, you know, the cricketing gods or the famous athletes, everybody, they will hit a rough patch. And during that patch, they can't perform. They are not going to get any medal. But they are still the athletes, right? So if these three things don't define an athlete, then does the theme of this session, right, mind or matter, does that define athlete? So in a way, yes, because the event which I coach people for marathon actually epitomized this phrase, mind or matter, because after running 32 kilometers, the last 10 kilometers, it's only the mental power takes that person to complete the last 10 kilometers. But still, saying that mind over matter while defining an athlete is a bit of oversimplification. So let's go beyond this oversimplification and try to explore the qualities of an athlete. Now the first quality of an athlete, of course, everybody knows is his physical ability and skill. The athletes strive, athletes strive to achieve this physical ability and skill in their particular sport. Right? So, for example, these long distance runners, they will try to be maintain a lean mass, they will improve their running economy. The sprinters, they will build up muscles and try to get that explosive power. Gymnasts will do their uh, flexibility and balance. And for the skills, the same gymnast will do this routine hundreds if not thousand times before he executes that in an event. So that's the first quality, right? Second quality of athletes is determination. Athletes are determined to achieve their target against all hardships of physical hardships, mental hardships, and also the life throws whatever situation, they will try to go and complete their targets, right? So to give you an example, there is one uh, French discus thrower. She was determined to achieve, uh, you know, get an Olympic medal. And she relentlessly started uh, towards her goal. And she tried and tried for 16 years, one six, 16 years and five Olympics. In the fifth Olympics, she got her medal, right? The third quality for athletes is clear mindset. The athletes will take decisions very specifically which are required for developing the optimal mental and physical fitness which is required for their sport. For that, they will sacrifice anything. Yeah, so to give you an example, one uh, bronze medalist for India, she moved away from her family to concentrate on her sport and stopped having fast food for over eight years. Yeah, that's clear mindset. The fourth quality of athletes is mindfulness. Yeah, they have this amazing ability to be on that moment and complete their goal in spite of the overwhelming reality, in spite of the adversity of the task at hand. So to give you example of overwhelming reality which is around, just think of this Eliud Kipchoge. This gentleman was trying to achieve something which was never attempted in recorded human history. A team of 50 people were trying to 
help him to achieve his goal. 49 broadcasters were broadcasting this event live across 220 territories with a viewership of 500 million. Yes, five crore people were watching only one guy completing an event. So that's the magnitude, that's where he is working at. And the adversity of hand, at hand, uh, the task at hand is he's attempting something, he's running at a pace where no human has ever run for 42 kilometers. And if in that, if he just slows down by half a second, this is half a second, if he slows down by half a second, he's not going to get his target. And on top of it, there are haunting memories of a failed attempt just by 25 seconds two years back. And in all of this, he can take out everything out, just zoom in and implement his plan exactly as planned. Yeah? And that's mindfulness, as if the world beyond that doesn't exist. The fifth quality of an athlete is imagination. Athlete has to imagine a goal and then create a plan to achieve it. So there was this young uh, British medical student who thought that it's possible, he imagined that it's possible to run a one mile within four minutes. Then he planned and achieved that. Now after 70 years, 1,660 runners has repeated that task. And of course, Eliud Kipchoge had the audacity to think that a human can complete 42 kilometers less than two hours. So that's imagination. The sixth and important quality for any athlete is innovations. Yeah. Athletes all the time has to change their plans basis what their opponent is doing or basis what is uh, available at that moment, the physical resources. So for example, if they get injured, they have to invent on the spot to stay in the game with whatever possible resources at their hand, right? But that takes a lot of courage because this is a deviation from what has been practiced. This is a deviation from what has been successful so many years. So if you know, right, when the ballers from other countries are coming to, uh, to counter that main baller, this batsman will change their batting strategy. They will invent new shot. They will practice those shots. Yeah, they will change their stance. So this is in innovation all the time they have to do. And reinvention is when they start growing older, they change their strategies from using their speed and reflexes to using their patience and experience, right? So I just told you the six qualities of an athlete. And if you have observed, the only one quality of an athlete is related to his physical ability and his skills. Rest all are mental aspects. So this physical ability and skill is like a qualification criteria. Yeah, once you, oh, once you cross over that, you get into this exclusive club of being athletes. And once you are in this club, what determines your extent of your success is this other five qualities, which are related to your mental aspects. And that's why it is famously said that athlete success is 80% mental. Yeah. So, you might be following any career goal or any business goal. We should strive to be an athlete. The famous or rather legendary British actor, Laurence Olivier has said that if you have ambition to become a serious classical actor, you must be as fit as an athlete. So, what happens when we start considering ourselves an athlete? We start looking differently towards us. That changes our performance and then that leads 
to the goals you are going to achieve, right? So to summarize, to be an athlete means crossing the qualification criteria of physical fitness and skills. For any profession in the world, there is a very specific demand of physical fitness and skill. So even somebody who is sitting at a desk for 12 hours needs a specific type of fitness so that he won't diminish his productivity for sitting there to tiredness, maybe to some element like lower back pain, or maybe advent of non-communicable diseases. In fact, the only panacea to survive the devastating effects of our sedentary lifestyle is relentless pursuit of fitness. To be an athlete means being determined. Focus on your goal and try to achieve it against all hardships. Life is going to knock you off, for sure. But just like an athlete, get up, dust it off, and start going ahead. To be an athlete means having clear mindset. Life is going to pull you in all directions. Just circumvent them, continue your practice as planned, and you are one step near to your goal. To be an athlete means being mindful all the time. You have to get, navigate through the distractions daily, which happens. You have to overcome the overwhelming situations, which are going to take away from your productivity. To be an athlete, means using your imagination. Because like an athlete, unless you imagine seemingly impossible target, it will not manifest in reality. To be an athlete, lastly, means being courageous. Being courageous to innovate and reinvent yourself at every possible uncertainty, every possible risk, and every possible challenge. So start preparing your body and mind for optimal results, and every one of you will become an athlete. And remember, athletes achieve their dreams against all odds. Thank you.